In case you have set up a WordPress site using XAMPP locally on your machine, you need to know that that little thing when you go to, and I'll open that up as a separate window here, here, where it says lost your password, this won't do anything if your site is set up locally. That only works if you are using a remote host per my lecture and explanation, remote versus local at the beginning of the week five lecture, okay? If you have messed up your password and you're using XAMPP, you can still fix this. It's just not gonna work if you try and use this. You can put in your email when you set up your site, it's not gonna matter, okay? It's never gonna email you. What you need to do is go to localhost, okay? And again, I'm reminding the people that if you're on a PC and you're at 8080, you need to go to localhost forward slash 8080, okay? And you go to localhost, if your servers are on in the ZAMP control panel, it should load right up. That would be another reason why you're not getting your WordPress site to load up. Go to PHP My Admin. Okay, go to, ignore that, um, go to uh, WPDB01 or go to databases and go right to it. So you can go to databases, go to the database we all made as part of this session, right, last week. Because you all should have the same database. If you're getting to wplogin.php and it's working, you just don't have your username and password, this is how you fix it. Go here, go to WP users. WP users, did you see where I went? Okay, I'll go back really quick. I'm in localhost databases. I clicked on the database we made for our WordPress demo site in this class. When you click on it, all the stuff in your site is now in there. This is all loaded in there now as a result of you connecting your WordPress installation via the WP config file to this database. Prior to that, if you would have clicked on it, it would have been just blank. So one of the options that you have in here to adjust is WP users, okay? If you click here and go to WP users, you will actually see your username and you'll see your email, which is useless because it can't email you your password. And under password, it's got this big, long encrypted thing. That's because it was, you, that's not your password, okay? And that wouldn't work if you put that in there. It's encrypted, so you can't get to it. So click on edit, you with me? There, the, the six of you that have to do this right now. What if I You're, don't have you're something different. You're, we'll deal with you later. <laughs> Click on edit. <laughs> and then keep your username the same, okay? Under password, go over the encrypted thing that's in there and put in the password you want. Now, given that this is local on your machine, like, what do you really have to worry about? Why don't, ah, shoot, sorry. Um, edit, I just bounced my mouse. Go into the password field and just put in password, guys. Like seriously, like I would never ever recommend that password for anything live, online, on the web, on the internet. Like do not use that password, okay? That is the, it's actually the most common password in existence is password. You'd be shocked how many people actually leave that as their password. Um, no, no, what I mean is locally. <laughs> yeah, 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 good one. Locally on your machine, who cares? Because your machine's already protected with your login anyway. Just make it password so you don't forget it. Make your username something that's very easy to remember. You can change that here too if you want. And then here's the trick. Just doing it this way and going down and hitting go will not do it. You have to go here and set your encryption to MD5. That's Mary David 5 which is right here, okay? and that way it'll be re-encrypted in a format that'll work for your machine here. And that'll work on a PC or a Mac, MD5. So when you do that and then hit go, okay, it will now have changed this and it will be re-encrypted so you still won't see it as password. But when you then go back to here, and that was my username anyway, and you type in the password you made, should be able to log into your dashboard and that's where we need to be right now, okay? So that was a quick tutorial on how to fix your password in XAMPP if you messed it up. Less than five minutes, that's a good one.